here remembers and knows all about the Mars virus. It's not a real, like, biological virus. It's a, but we call it, it's like a computer. August 2003, <laughs> Mars was closer to Earth than it had been in the previous 60,000 years. But no one stopped to ask, how much closer? <laughs> That's the scientifically literate question you should be asking. But we're so pent up in records that we assume that if it's closer than it's been in 60,000 years, it must be really close. <laughs> but no, no, you know how close it was? Where? I'm standing here, but um, what direction is this? Anybody know? No, you know. Okay. <laughs> That's south? Okay, so this would be west. Okay, and we're in Vegas. Okay, so you ready? So here I go. I'm looking at LA. I've never been this close to LA before. <laughs> That's how much closer Mars was. In fact, it made it to the, the, the Daily News. Mars is closer. Closer. This got so out of hand that people were saying that Mars would be so bright, it would be the size of the full moon, and you would need Mars sunglasses to try that thing. <laughs> it didn't stop. I thought we were done with this. A lot of efforts of my colleagues and I to sort of to, to, to rid the internet of this kind of fuzzy thinking. And lo and behold, what came up? The super moon. <laughs> Thus, I was livid. Ooh. 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 Let's see. No, so this is the moon is bigger. The full moon will be bigger than it's been in 18 years. Class? How <laughs> much bigger? Let's analogize it to a pizza pie. <laughs> the smallest the moon gets, let's say that's a seven inch pizza. How about an average moon? Because the moon orbits in an ellipse, so sometimes it's close and sometimes it's far. It'd be a little bigger, a little smaller than the sky. How much bigger and smaller? That's a small moon, seven inch pizza. Average moon, seven and a half inch pizza. A large moon, an eight inch pizza. That's quite a difference. The super moon, eight point zero 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 zero. You can't even measure that. <laughs> Have you ever tried this? You've seen how big the moon looks on the horizon? Who hasn't? That's called the moon on the horizon illusion. It's not actually bigger, it's all in your head. This thing we call the brain that we like to believe is an accurate data taking device. <laughs> but we know it is not. Do this experiment. However big the moon looks to you on the horizon, take out a drinking straw. Not the super gulp kind. I'm talking about the tiny, the regular straw. Hold it up, look through it at the full moon on the horizon. You can fit four or five full moons inside the field of view the drinking straw provides you. That's how little the moon actually is. Want more proof? Go take your digital camera, photograph it. Look at, hey, where's the moon? Oh, is that the moon? So in order to make the moon look big, you need a big lens. That's the field of view. So I said four or five, it's two or three. Oh, you can't see it. There's a, there's a frame around it. Uh, it's not showing it. Oh, is it? You see it? oh, it's faint. It's faint. Do the experiment. This is an article in space.com. Supermoon rises, biggest full moon in 18 years, occurs Saturday night. Everybody was eating this up. Everybody. And then they assumed that it had extra gravity that would make more earthquakes. Of course, you always have earthquakes, so then I have to feel those questions. <laughs> Then, even the NASA photographer waited for the full moon of that night to rise over the Lincoln Memorial, and then he took this picture. And it ran across the internet. Look how big the moon is. I called the guy and I said, uh, what lens did you use? Oh, 400 millimeter lens on his camera. Anything looks big in a 400 millimeter camera lens. That's the super moon. What does it look like on a regular night? That. <laughs> super moon? Super moon? 
Regular. <laughs> Super 